Hello, all you coin collectors out there, and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today, we're going to take a look at the Federal Reserve Regional Bank Production Seals. And you see one of them right here. It has an A inside it. And there are 12 Federal Reserve Districts in the United States. And we're going to go through all of them, except I missed one. But I'll tell you what the other one is that's not here. And many of you know I love the $2 bills, even though nobody uses them, including me. But I kind of got a collection of the different Federal Reserve District seals. And let's just go through them. So this, of course, is a $2 note. It says two, 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 two dollars here, two dollars here. United States of America, two dollars. has Jefferson on the front. This is a series 2013, in case you wanted to uh, see it. It's right here. And if we turn it over on the back, we see that this is the remade $2 bill that they did in 1976 as part of the bicentennial. And this is a Trumbull painting, T-R-U-M-B-U-L-L, -L, of the Declaration of Independence. And you see it says, in God we trust here, Declaration of Independence, $2, $2, $2, two, two United States of America, and the numbers two around here. But what's weird about this painting is it actually, this isn't the whole painting. Because of what the uh, United States Federal Reserve called space restraints, they were only able to put 42 of the 47 people that were in the painting. So this painting actually had 47 people in it for the Declaration of Independence signing. Only 42, they said, would fit on this bill. So they cut five of them off. And so this isn't the whole painting, but if you ever get a chance to see this painting, you want to see a bunch of old white men who started our country, this is them right here. And so now let's go back to those district seals. So right here, the Federal Reserve Bank has 12 different Federal Reserve branches. And the first of those, number, it, it's also a letter and a number. And it's not the first because it's the best or anything. It's just the first because that's the first bank. And th it's always associated with a number one. Federal Reserve Bank of Boston, Massachusetts. And hopefully you can see that pretty well there. Boston, Massachusetts. And when you look at this, you'll see that there's also a one here, which indicates Boston. And there's also an A here, an A here. And then if we flip it over, an A here, an A here, one here, one here. So... It's pretty clear that this is all from the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston, Massachusetts. So there's A, and it turns out that what they did was they went in alphabetical order. So A equals 1, so guess what? B equals 2, so there's a 2 and a B. And this is the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, New York, or New York City. And again, same thing, this will have um, the B here. This letter at the end is not an identifier for the federal district seal, that's an identifier for generally where it is on the plate when they print them out. So this is not the letter. This is always the letter. So B2, B2. We see the B, the 2, and the 2. So the second one is New York. The third one, of course, is Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. And we see there's a C and a 3. C, C, in the 3s. This is this 2013 series. Oh, I didn't show you this one. This one's one of the oldest series, the first year that they put it out. This is the 17, the 1976. So this is the first year of the remake, 1976. They don't make them at all reserve banks every year. So sometimes if you want to get a collection of all of them, uh, other than 1976, you're going to have you're going to have some that weren't made certain years. Okay, here's the C for Philly. What's next? Of course, D. And D would be the fourth letter of the alphabet. And that's Cleveland, Ohio. I'll blow that up a little bit more. And so there's our D's on this side. There's Jefferson again. And our D's on this side. And this is a 2009 series. The next up is the E. And that is a Richmond, Virginia. So we said the E's and the 5's. This is a 2003A series. So they made different series in 2003, so they're not all A's. So if you're going to collect all of them, you have to get the 2003 and the 2003A, because some of them they put this A on afterwards. 
if I find another one, I'll show you with it without the A. So it's E and 5 and 5. This letter here goes to do with plate numbers. It has nothing to do with the uh, district uh, production seal or the region. F is Atlanta, Georgia. So F is the sixth letter of the alphabet. There's our F. And here we have a 1995. So in 1995, they did produce these in Atlanta. And F and our sixes. H. Ah, so what happened was I'm going through all of these and I couldn't find the G. So the G is for Chicago. And the G would have a G here and the number seven here. I couldn't find the G, so I'm skipping G and going straight to H, which is the St. Louis, Missouri bank. And uh, if you, it's kind of fun when you go through. These will only be on $1 and $2 bills now. Um, in 1995, they changed this on the $5 and up. So on the $5 and up, you'll see something that looks like this. And then you'll see these. This is uh, The M here is not a mint on the $5 bill. So this is, let me make it a little smaller. So this is a $5 bill from the United States from after 1995. In fact, you look down here and you can see that it's from 2013. On the $5 bills, they took off the district or regional seal and just put United States um, Federal Reserve System. And they put this up here is, is where the way it was printed. And this is your letter here, the B. So the B again uh, was for New York. So this was printed in New York, and that's how you can tell in these ones. Look at the second letter and the last letter. Second letter and the last letter. And you can also look right here, and there's the B. All right, so that's what the $5 and up have on them. They don't have the letters. All right, so back to the H. St. Louis, Missouri is the H. And we got the H's and the 8's. Then the next one is... Minneapolis, Minnesota. Now, um, one of the years uh, that they printed the $2 bills, they only printed them in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And so when you look for those, um, oh, and this is the 2003 without the A. Let's see if we can find that other 2003 with the A, and I'll show you the difference between the two. Okay, so this is the 2003 with the A, see the 2003 A underneath, this is a 2003 without the A. So it's a different uh, series and it was printed at a different time. All right, so this is the I, I is letter nine. And of course, I is from Minneapolis, Minnesota. J, J is from Kansas City, Missouri. Now that's interesting because um, they have St. Louis and they have Kansas City. So. I mean, it seems kind of strange that they would do that, but they have two in Missouri. So here's the St. Louis, Missouri, which is a state, of course, in the United States. And this is Kansas City, Missouri. The J is the 10th letter of the alphabet, so we see the J's. This is a 2003, and the J's and the 10s. The K, the K is from Dallas, Texas. So the Dallas Regional District Seal is the K, and it's the 11th letter of the alphabet, so we have it right here, K, K, 11, 11, oops, and I should show you the year on this one. This is a 2013, so this is the last year that they made them. They're still making them in series 2013. And then here's the L. So right here we see L, which is the 12th letter of the alphabet. And as we go through, this is a 2013, and we have the L and the 12s here. So that's pretty much all of them. Here's the, let's just go through them one by one, and I'll make them a little smaller. There's the L, K, J, H, oops, <laughs> let's put the I in there too. Let's get our alphabet right. I, H, we don't have the G, so we have the F, the E, the D, the C, the B, and finally, Boston, Massachusetts, the A. Have a great day from DC Coin World International Coin Channel.